All right, uh, so our example problem, first one is going to be number seven. So let's go ahead and scroll down to that one. So I'm going to start off by just distributing my negative three. Okay, oops, let's switch my color back there. So I distribute my negative three, I end up with six equals negative three x minus six. Anytime you have a negative, it's just going to switch the signs of everything inside of it. So if it was negative, it becomes positive. If it was positive, it becomes negative. All right, next I'm going to add 6 to both sides, so that's going to give me 12 equals negative 3x, and then finally I'm going to divide by negative 3, negative 4 equals x. All right, go ahead and try 8 um, before you move on to slide 2. Uh, slide 2, I want to do a one that's got quite a few steps in it, so let's do number 15. Okay, so in number 15, I'm going to start by combining like terms. So I have my 10p and my negative p, which is 9p. I have 9 and negative 11, which is negative 2. Distribute here. So I have negative 4p minus 8 and negative 6p plus 6. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and combine my light terms on my right side before I start trying to solve this. So negative 10p and uh, that's a negative 2. All right, so this is what I have at this point. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, get all my, my p's to one side. So I'm going to do that by adding 10p to both sides. So that's going to give me 19p. And then I'm going to add 2 to both sides equals 0. And then finally, I'm going to solve this by dividing both sides by 19, which gives me an answer of 0. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about here is number 21. It's labeled critical thinking in here, but I think this is actually pretty essential uh, to anybody moving into upper mathematics is to understand there's multiple ways to go about solving equations. And the more flexible you are, the, the better it is for you uh, in later grades. So uh, make sure you give 21 a try, and then uh, feel free to reach out to me, and we can check our answers together. And um, Yeah.